Yeah. And look at that, Anthony. You and uh, you that's and an Anthony, unedited photograph of you and Anthony working out. It is. You and Anthony do a uh, show together, right? Yeah, well, just that previous photo. It, the sometimes the the way photos are presented, those pants are uh, the shorts I'm wearing are actually turquoise, but it's yeah, it's, I can it, tell. You could. The, I don't know why or whose screen that is or what it is, but it's <laughs> it's portraying my shorts as a slightly different shade. They're not. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? It's him with a, an afro. <laughs> That's what funny. am I seeing? <laughs> it was it was more yeah. plates, more dates, but stuck on his head. How, how think, long have you uh, have you known Anthony? I've he's been on our show a bunch of times, and I'm I'm like the biggest old Opie and Anthony fan from back in the day. I think it's the funniest show of all time. I met him right after he got kicked off of Sirius. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was about ten years ago, and dude, I I was I I didn't grow up with Opie and Anthony because I was in Canada when that show was big. Yeah, and I I just saw on YouTube him laughing at African aviation and like when they build a helicopter. Well, the com- Zimbabwe helicopter. Yes, flight left in it, Mangumbo. Flight left in it, Mangumbo. Yeah, dude, that's one of the funniest <laughs> fucking video. If video and a shout out to that YouTube channel, they take all the old bits like the one Gavin's describing and they put it to the video they're discussing. It's hysterical. That's the, that's one where you also can find any, retard cooking. I'd never seen anyone mock that before. And it's it's the elephant in the room. Like when you see it, you go, that's embarrassing. And there's no way that could ever fly. You fucking idiots. And everyone's like, yeah, that's a great helicopter. Try again. Maybe get I'm, better. I'm <laughs> stuck, Gavin. Cause like, it, so I looked at it through that lens for a while, which is like, this guy is the biggest moron to have ever moroned. That will never fly. That is a picture, a model of a helicopter. It's not a helicopter. And then I was like, maybe I'm the idiot. Maybe he's playing a prank on people like me that think he thinks this is a real helicopter. Uh, I think giving, he was. Yeah, I think you're giving, giving him too much credit. That individual. Two people, way too much credit. That <laughs> really? guy. Is so he was serious. Special. Meryl Howard Kalen also not retarded. He was just putting that. <laughs> he was just pretending when he cooked those. No, Meryl Howard Kalen. Kalen. <laughs> One video. If you look up African like homemade planes and and helicopters, there's a dozen, <laughs> and none of them make it this far off the ground. Oh, and that that, that African the the African guy sitting there is like six. <laughs> he's like he's like six foot ten. He's got a badly painted red circle on his yellow bicycle <laughs> helmet, and the I I am partially in this video convinced that the interviewer guy is trolling because yeah. his his intro is like for too long. Zimbabweans have lagged behind aviation on a global scale <laughs> until now. <laughs> Introducing flight lieutenant Adam Magumbay. <laughs> I can't tell. Trash. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. That guy. I, yeah. I, I've watched it's, that video nine hundred times, and I'm like, <laughs> "Are you? Have you brainwashed yourself? Like, what's going on?" But anyway, when I saw those. I was like, "Holy shit!" Someone is finally <laughs> identifying the, the el- elephant in the room and laughing. Zach yeah. is and killing it. With when I met him, we did red eye together, and mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> we went out for drinks after. He was carrying at the time; he was allowed to have guns in New York. And uh, he said, one of the first sentences he ever said uh, to me was, uh, "When did it become so offensive to tell the truth?" And I fell madly in love, head over heels, at that moment. But, dude, old men are a hard court. You can't just, like, you got to, it's like fucking Eva Mendez. Like, you got to <laughs> suggest beers. and Because they already have their friends. They're not looking for new pals. So mm. it took me, like, five years to get in his pants, basically. <laughs> mm. <laughs> dude, he's... Oh my god! Ant- old Opie and Anthony clips when him and Jimmy are banging on all cylinders, throwing it back and forth, make me laugh more than probably any comedy can- content I've watched. And old Jim and Ant in their prime, and, and take a call or say, "What about slavery?" And just and you can you can you, even with just the audio, you can see Ant and Jim go. Oh yeah, like, yeah. No, Opie like that. Uh, I, I was like a big r slash opie and anthony the reddit community i didn't ever you know participate or contribute but i was a big time lurker for many years and my god the amount those people hated every single person ever even semi-affiliated with the opie and anthony show other than colin quinn was one of the funniest 
<laughs> funniest forums of all time. It would be like the only people who didn't get bullied all the time were Colin Quinn and Patrice O'Neill, who was long dead by that point. Yeah, and yeah. Like everyone else. Well, that, was that, that was that they that always that hate. Owen their- kind of invented oh. the whole doxing, stalking, ruining mm-hmm. of lives uh, that that Antifa <laughs> and the far left have picked up, and it ended up sabotaging Anthony's life. Not in a big way, but Joe yeah. Cumia was having all his shows canceled, and that was kind of their their thing. Yeah, they were even at that time when you could get away with more stuff. They were hyper offensive. I was like driving a rental car in 2014 because I worked at a rental place, not on leisure. I was working at Enterprise, driving that shit around, and. I remember in 2014 sitting there hating myself, hating my life, no prospects. The only thing that like kind of kept me going was like, at least I can listen to the Opie and Anthony channel on the free Sirius XM in this 2013 Hyundai accent. And then Opie and Jim came on and were like, bad news. Anthony's been let go. And I'm like, all right, when does the bit end? And I was like actually upset by that. That was the first bit of media cancellation where I was like, no. No, I think I think not that 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 getting fired, but didn't O and A invent like cancel culture? I know this sounds. I'm shitting. They uh, they in what they did. It was called Jocktober, and they would spend all of October every year clipping other radio shows and like ruthlessly making fun of them. And sometimes it would be like, hey, get a load of this big fat bitch in uh, market number one hundred and three in Kentucky. (laughs) <laughs> and so that person has like 65 regular listeners. And then Opie and Anthony, which was at the time the second show to Howard Stern is about number of listeners with comedy was making fun of them. And so, yeah, definitely a little. Yeah, there we oh, go. God, there we go. Damn. Terry, listen to the Terry Clifford tapes. They're very funny. And in the end bad for that, woman. In, no, in the I, end, I too. in the end, Terry Clifford got a little W because okay. someone like it was after Anthony had got fired from the series XM that someone like wrote into like a Terry Clifford show and was like, what do you think about Anthony getting fired? And she was like, oh, really? That's a damn shame. And then like just kept, <laughs> kept going along. And I'm like, okay, that was pretty fucking funny. It takes a lot to roll with those punches. But yeah, he old, bounced old back. Old you know, you can always judge uh, someone's merit by what they do after the thing. And Opie was clearly being held up by Sirius. He'd, He's mm-hmm. done nothing after he left. Anthony was clearly, you know, paying his bills. He was, he was, uh, he was an important part of that show because after he leaves, he makes his own thing. And I, I wouldn't have this kind of platform if it wasn't for Anthony. So, mm-hmm. you, you, Do you uh, think he wishes he'd piece. shot her? He's kicked. He's kicked out of Project Veritas. Oh my God, he must be a horrible guy. What happens to Project Veritas after he leaves? It collapses immediately. And James O'Keefe was kicking ass today. Today, he released a video where he went to one of these migrant centers dressed as a bum and uh, exposed them all for, for bringing in busloads and busloads of illegal immigrants while they're, pro- <laughs> while they're prosecuting him for trespassing. And at mm-hmm. one point in the video that came out today, the detective is like, uh, you need to get out of here. And as he's talking, a bus full of illegals goes behind him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> 